Welcome back. Yellowstone National Park Superintendent Dan Wink says the only way to solve overcrowding problems in the world's oldest national park is to learn more about the people who use it. So the Park Service is beginning a new project to help collect that information this summer. When Yellowstone hit 4 million visitors in 2015, complaints about overcrowding started to be felt. Some people wouldn't leave parking areas until they used the restroom and there weren't enough restrooms, so the Park Service brought in more to help alleviate some of those issues. This summer, some visitors to Yellowstone will be asked questions about their visit, but others will be handed a digital tablet to record their experiences in the park. For example, to show how long they stay at certain places, how long it takes them to travel to another place in the park. The surveys will ramp up in September and Superintendent Wang says the results will help with decision making. Are, is there going to be some kind of limitation on visits to parks to, the, to Yellowstone? Is there going to be some kind of reservation system? Are we going to try to spread the visits out? He adds not to expect any recommendations until at least April of 2019. The park says the end goal is ultimately the same to protect and preserve Yellowstone National Park. Now, park leaders also plan to talk to business owners and those who live in the gateway communities around Yellowstone to get their ideas about handling the constantly growing number of visitors. Well, I'm happy with the backcountry. Yeah, and always remember to stay away from the animals. Keep your distance. Yeah. Definitely.